Happy Monday or Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back. And I want to start off today by telling you how darn excited I am about your final projects. What really gets me excited about this course is that you're using your coding skills to solve some sort of problem that you care about, and that's meaningful. And I gave you the option for this assignment to either solve something that is related to COVID, like extend your mastery coding assignment number four, or to do something different. And I'm just really excited by the list of ideas that people have come up with. You know, as far as like COVID related problems go, we see people taking on really challenging problems like paying rent during the crisis or grocery delivery to people who need help. Um, but also on the non-COVID side, so you guys have taken on some really meaningful and awesome problems. Homelessness, world poverty, teen pregnancy, general non-quarantine boredom, and schedule of planning. Um, this is just awesome. And I was really excited by the project proposals that I got from y'all last week. And as such, I'm really excited for what we're going to get done over the course of the next two weeks as we finish up these projects. As a little reminder, on Thursday, May 21st, we'll be sending videos of the apps that we create to solve this particular problem to um, judges, judges who are professors and, um, and uh, people who work in industry and actual coding. Now, that doesn't give us a lot of time, and I really want to be mindful of the fact that you all have a lot cooking the last two weeks. You have final projects and other classes. You have AP, a lot of you have AP exams coming up over the course of this week. Um, so we're going to do our best to kind of break that down in whatever space that we can. And one thing I recommend for you to think about in particular is how you can create a project that is meaningful, but is something that you can accomplish in four class periods. Uh, we have had more time in previous semesters. We're going to do the best that we can in this time. As such, since we just spent an entire month studying JavaScript, I'm not really going to instruct you on JavaScript um, in the next two weeks. Uh, you might see up there a little error, a missing bracket that a lot of you found familiar. There's a lot of nuts and bolts that go along with JavaScript that um, are probably helpful still to go and look back up where the brackets are in particular things, where quotation marks go. But I feel pretty good about the actual content knowledge that we have. And because our final app requires us to put together all of the languages that we've learned so far, I'm actually going to prioritize HTML and CSS today. So here's my thinking for the rest of the semester. Today, we're actually going to focus on HTML. Wednesday and Thursday, we'll spend some time looking back at basic CSS methods. Next Monday and Tuesday, we'll have one more class period to kind of finish up the overall arc uh, of our project and submit it. And Wednesday and Thursday, we'll record our presentations and send them in for us to take a look at. That'll be kind of how we finish this up at the end. So our goal today is actually to focus on the HTML part of our website. I wanted to bring up the part of the rubric that actually talks about HTML. Um, in HTML, these are some of the things that I'd hope you'd be able to do. Paragraphs and basic tags. You can do basic style changes, like change the color or change the background color. You can use div and span to group elements on the website. Uh, div tag is super important. I definitely want to see that in your assignment. You've included interactive elements, like buttons, images, and links. And you've used correct and complete spelling and grammar in your tags. So this is just saying that if we're going to turn something into I do, we definitely want it to be professional and have proper spelling. Take a look at that rubric right now. And if you feel like there are some things that you're not quite sure how to do, I've given you a couple of resources to do that. On the Haiku page, there is a link to notes that we took during Unit 2 um, back in January and February, where we listed out all the helpful tags that we might have. Um, use that to guide yourself to start out. And after this introductory video, I have a second video that immediately follows it, where I go over how to use a lot of these tags and make some notes on it. So if you feel like you don't remember a lot of HTML and you want a little refresher, you can move on to the second video in the sequence, and that'll probably help you start out for today. It, once you feel like you've educated yourself a little bit on HTML, it's step one. Here's your plan of attack for today. There's a submission point on our website called the Final Project Website Submission. Final Project Code Submission, I should say. This is where you're going to post your link to your website. Create it. Submit your website link. That way it's there. We don't have anything else to do with it. You'll make a code pen link like you always do, and we can start from there. If you are building off of your master coding assignment number four, you can go ahead and repaste that link back into this space. Once you've done that, there's a timer right here. I'd like you to work on this assignment for 40 minutes today. See what you can get done. Try to finish the HTML requirements to the best of your ability. If you finish the HTML requirements in less than 40 minutes, maybe start working on CSS. Thinking about, think about how to use all three of these languages together to make something that's really meaningful and useful. When you're done, after every class period, I'm going to give you feedback, which is really, really, really important. Especially if you have nuts and bolts like missing brackets or missing carrots on your HTML tags, 
fastest way for us to make sure that you're doing it right is for me to take a quick look and for us to communicate about how you can improve your code. One way to help make my life a lot easier is for you to comment on what you finished. And one thing that's off required if you actually do take up programming in the real world is documenting what you do each day. So after you submit your assignment in the code pen link, you have the space to make some comments, make a list of what you did today. Maybe it was make paragraph tags, create three sections with a div tag, put in two images, make a button, but without JavaScript yet. You'll give me the bullet points of what you managed to get done in that 40 minute time so that we can make sure that you're using your time productively. If you're in a group, make sure that you've emailed me about where you're meeting on video chat this week so that I can come and join you. And also I'm expecting on your email thread to see some way that you've divided up responsibilities for today. That's our plan of attack. If it feels helpful to watch a second video on HTML, go ahead and keep going and you'll see a lot of the HTML stuff that we did earlier this semester. And good luck. I'm really excited to see what y'all come up with.